Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're looking at the 10 best God of War weapons. For this video, we'll be checking out the weaponry that aided Kratos in his quest of fighting beings from both Greek and Nordic legend. The ranks are based on their power levels, effectiveness in combat, and their importance within the series' narrative. Which weapon do you think made Kratos worthy of being the God of War? Let us know down in the comments. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Atreus' Talon Bow God of War. Exhale and release. My God. Good. Atreus is kept strictly as a backup for Kratos during gameplay, although he can be directly used as well. This comes in the form of the Talon Bow that provides solid support in combat sequences. Containing elemental qualities, the bow has multiple upgrades to offer, evolving into a weapon that can stun and shock enemies. The downside of the Talon Bow is the inability for players to make Kratos use it instead of Atreus, rendering it firmly as a secondary option intended to distract foes rather than fully incapacitate them. Still, the weapon does play a major part in Atreus' character development as he proves his mettle as a fighter just like his father. In addition, the Talon Bow's many upgrades allow players to incorporate it further in their fighting strategy without having to fully rely on melee weapons. No! I'm a god too! I can do this! Get off him! Really? Claws of Hades, God of War 3. These weapons were teased even before Hades' appearance in God of War 3, as Hades was shown using them to bring down the Titans. During Kratos' boss fight against the God of the Underworld, he's able to rip the claws away and use them to take Hades' soul. Where the mechanics of these weapons are concerned, the Claws of Hades can be seen as substitutes for Kratos' blades, as they largely complete the same function. The unique aspect about the Claws is their ability to summon the souls of powerful beasts to aid Kratos during battles. Although the Claws of Hades lack the firepower needed to fight enemies with greater durability, they are useful when combating a number of enemy swarms. Nemesis Whip, God of War 3. Here is your retribution! <laughs> Another variation of blade based attacks, the Nemesis Whip comprises a pair of daggers that generate significant amounts of electricity. This weapon is nowhere near as strong as many others, but the Nemesis Whip is supposed to spark a sense of creativity in players. The true use of the weapon is to engage in combo moves due to the extreme levels of speed it offers. That makes it a highly favorable option against quick and agile enemies, with the blade's range and speed providing a useful combination in combat. Launching enemies in midair and kickstarting attacks with variations in impact is the way to go with the Nemesis Whip, and watching a successful execution is a thing of beauty. Moreover, the weapon is vital for Kratos to progress further, since it activates the bridges leading Kratos towards Zeus. Bow of Apollo, God of War 3. Kratos has acquired a number of ranged weapons over the series, but none present the kind of ease and control the Bow of Apollo does. Claimed from the depths of Hades after finishing off Perithus, this ranged weapon is unique in that it doesn't require magic for Kratos to use it. Instead, the bow fires in rapid succession over great distances, ensuring the pacing of gameplay isn't interfered with and allowing for both melee and ranged combat to be used in tandem. Its multifaceted nature means the bow can scorch enemies and bramble in Kratos' way, with upgrades bringing the energy of the flames up to greater levels. 
Although the bow can't be used as a primary weapon, it's certainly a solid secondary option that makes the combat much more diverse. Nemean Cestus, God of War 3. This pair of gauntlets pack an absolute wallop, to the point where the Nemean Cestus becomes Kratos' primary weapon by the end of God of War 3. They first appear as part of Hercules' arsenal during this confrontation with Kratos, where the latter nabs them as his own. The Nemean Cestus' greatest use lies in its ability to break through barriers no other weapons can, making it necessary to reach the climactic moments of the game. While the gauntlets have limited range, they more than make up in the power department, capable of destroying foes with little effort required. The Nemean Cestus also works against just about any type of enemy, no matter what shape or size, meaning there's no need to rely on any other weapons once you've acquired these gauntlets. Blade of Artemis, God of War. Easily the strongest weapon in the first God of War title, this blade is bestowed upon Kratos by Artemis and proves to be just as powerful as promised. Its force is such that the blade contends with the greatest enemies the game has to offer without even having to be fully upgraded. Perfect for use when surrounded by a number of monsters, the blade can clear any path with ease. Its effectiveness is such that enemies have no chance to retaliate due to Artemis' blade having near-perfect precision to block out all attacks. The weapon is also fun to watch in action since it dispatches each type of enemy in a different way, bringing a definite level of satisfaction every time a kill is successfully executed. Gauntlets of Zeus, God of War, Chains of Olympus. While this PSP game has largely generic combat mechanics, the Gauntlet of Zeus stands out as an incredible piece of weaponry. Capable of devastating enemies with single hits, the Gauntlet is equally useful in breaking down paths made of solid rock. However, its greatest use is within boss fights, as Kratos is able to beat the likes of Charon and Persephone only because these foes have nothing to defend themselves with against such power. The weapon is equally vital in difficult settings, with dangerous enemies like Gorgons crumbling against the gauntlet's might. Its power is acknowledged within the story as well, as the gods make sure to retrieve the gauntlet from an unconscious Kratos to reclaim this formidable weapon. He is a remarkable man. He is weak. Shall we help him? Leviathan Axe, God of War. Wow. Go. As Kratos' primary weapon in the Nordic landscape, the Leviathan Axe gets plenty of attention within the game. Its most unique aspect is the axe's ability to be flung and recalled by Kratos at will, designed to provide players with as much freedom of movement as they need during gameplay. Also required for opening up pathways during puzzle sequences, correct usage of the axe makes it a versatile tool for both combat and subtle moments in gameplay. Aided by Kratos' inherent power, enemies largely fall easily to the axe's swings, although there's enough room for players to employ the weapon alongside Kratos' brute strength. While other weapons are better options depending on the nature of enemies to face, the Leviathan Axe is so fluid in use that it always remains a good choice to arm Kratos within the Nordic backdrop. Blades of Chaos, Various. The Blades of Chaos, forged in the foulest depths of Hades. Once attached, the chains remained so, chained and seared to the flesh, a part of the bearer's body. The most iconic attribute to Kratos is his literal attachment to the blades connected to his body. The Blades of Chaos are a permanent reminder of his status as the Ghost of Sparta, which are also the most recurring weapons in the series. Although a few palette swaps like the Blades of Exile exist, the original blades remain Kratos' greatest tools for success. Ah! 
Mainly, it's the fact that they can both extend to great lengths to complete attacks and even pull enemies toward Kratos. The blades are capable of doling out both light and powerful moves, all the while bringing a number of combo options that look gorgeous in execution. 2018's God of War brought these back despite the over-the-shoulder perspective of the game, yet didn't compromise on their effectiveness. Fulfilling both narrative and gameplay purpose, the Blades of Chaos are synonymous with the series itself. Blade of Olympus Various Living up to its name, the Blade of Olympus is the mightiest creation forged by the gods. Within the game's universe, it has the power to vanquish everything from titans to the gods themselves, with the second game placing the blade as the main weapon Kratos needs to defeat Zeus. I have come to kill you, Zeus! It's equally as impressive within gameplay, as the Blades of Olympus are pretty much a one-hit kill for average enemies, while more powerful ones also have a difficult time absorbing its damage. Releasing energy blasts with each swing, the blade negates the need for secondary ranged weapons as these blasts reach great lengths on their own. Its greatest use is during the final boss fight against Zeus in God of War 2, where the weapon displays its capabilities to take down the King of the Gods. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, there's more where that came from.